Welcome to Artistic Adventures. Today we're going to be just talking about fashion dolls, and I'm going to talk about two that I actually have, and that's Silkstone Barbie and Fashion Royalty. Not like they are the best of all the fashion dolls, they're just the two that I happen to have. So the first is my Silkstone Barbie. I just purchased her about three or four months ago from Target for $69, and she came with this outfit. And this is Sarah Wade, the Fashion Royalty doll that I have. I actually bought her from eBay with no clothes, and she was $49. So I uh, can't really compare the clothes because she didn't come with any, but just wanted you to see what it looked like if she did. So these are the two dolls without any clothes on. Um, the Silkstone Barbie is a little bit shorter, maybe uh inch, well, maybe three-fourths of an inch shorter. And the first thing I'll tell you when I opened the Silkstone, of course, I bought her complete, but she is just so quality. Silkstone dolls are made from this really dense plastic that makes them very heavy, and that's where they get the name Silkstone. It it's supposedly describes the material that they're made of, and it is a very smooth and very hard material. It's made to resemble porcelain. Uh, both of these dolls came out in the 2000 year, and uh, you can see that Silkstone has that typical Barbie face that was the historical look. It's changed a lot, but uh, they keep that for the Silkstone look. She's uh, movable in her um, elbows, not incredibly so. She doesn't have the double joint, uh, but enough to, you can get some good poses out of her. She bends at the wrist. She bends at the upper torso, and also she twists at the waist, which the Fashion Royalty doll does not. Her knees bend, not an incredible range of motion, but enough for a good sitting position. And of course, her hips bend, and they rotate out. So she has, you know, fair range of motion, not, you know, super ball-jointed doll motion, but okay for these type of dolls. And the... Uh, this is Zara Wade. I uh, purchased her really just to have a fashion royalty doll, and I like the way she looked. I liked her face. She's movable pretty much everywhere the Barbie is, except she does not twist at the waist. And the plastic of, on her is feels very, to me, cheap. It It's uh, more of just the regular, I guess, Barbie-type plastic, kind of light. The Silkstone Barbie is a lot more heavy. Now, the one thing I liked about Fashion Royalty is her feet are larger than the Barbie, and you know how I feel about these little tiny feet after working on those Japanese sandals in the Japanese project, but I wanted to show you these dolls beside of a regular Barbie just for comparison measures. You can see that they're about the same height, the two Barbies, the new Barbie has the more contemporary face, and the Silkstone has the old traditional Barbie face. The Fashion Royalty has more of a fashion doll model look, and I like, you know, the fact that they're both fashion dolls, and they wear really fashion-y type clothes. Some of them are, are almost a retro kind of look. I really like those looks, so there's nothing, you know, to say wrong with either one of those. Um... I like that Jason Wu designed the Fashion Royalty dolls. I think he's a great designer. But uh, the Silkstone Barbies have some uh, contributing designers also. But there's just something about this uh, Barbie doll that as you see, sort of screams quality to me. The minute I took her out, I was just like, wow, this is such a nice doll. She has little earrings, and um, I like the way her face looks. I would never do a face up on her. I would never change her looks whereas I would change uh, the Fashion Royalty doll. So um, that's about it for that. But what's next? Well, I had a suggestion from Jackie, and that's going to be exciting. I'm gathering my materials now. Do you know who that is? It's Regina, the evil queen. So I'm getting some stuff together now, and I think Jackie's going to send me some additional pictures to make sure I do the right costume. But that's something to look forward to. And then also had a suggestion to do a China doll, which... Um, definitely thinking was going to be a good project also. So lots to come up on our channel. Make sure that you subscribe and don't miss a thing. Thanks and bye.